Welcome back to Cosmoholics Anonymous. I am your favorite new mama, Bougie Vintage, and today's video is my five baby products that I cannot live without. Five products I love, five products that I don't regret buying. If you didn't see the other video where I talk about five products that I regret buying, I'll have it linked down in the description box below. Let's get it ship hopping. The first product that I thought I wouldn't even need, these are nursing pads and you basically put them inside your bra so that when you're leaking, this absorbs it rather than your shirt getting soaking wet. I produce a lot of milk and I do a whole lot of leaking, so these pads are definitely something I cannot live without. <laughs> um, if I don't wear a nursing bra and throw some pads in there, I am going to be soaking wet. My breasts literally leak onto my pants. They leak all down my shirt, down my side. If Salem's nursing on one boob, the other boob is going to be leaking profusely while she's nursing. That's just the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So be prepared for that if you haven't had the baby yet. I honestly didn't think that I would need these, but you definitely stay dry with this. I used to buy the small box, and I realized real quick I need to be buying the 100 individually wrapped pads because I go through these like croissants, okay? <laughs> you definitely go through a lot of these. Every After every shower, I change my breast pads and sometimes even like in between because sometimes they're just so wet that I have to put in new ones. You can use up to like six per day if you have really leaky boobs. Uh, luckily, I don't really surpass four. Sometimes you don't leak, but most often you do, or I do. So this is the one of the number one products on my list that... I think is necessary to buy. The one thing I will say though is that with the nursing bra because you're forever popping your tits out, the pads shift and you constantly have to fix the pads, but that is a small price to pay for having dry clothing, okay? <laughs> the next product on my list, this is a pacifier, a soother, a sucky, whatever you call it, and it has a plush attached to it. There's lots of different Wubbinubs to choose from. The original Wubbinub I got was sent to me from a subscriber and it was a little owl. Once I started doing my research for Wubbinubs, I saw that they had a kitty cat and I love cats, so I went out and bought this one. And then I also bought a little sheep as well. This pacifier, Salem loves it. And right now, because Salem is doing a little bit of teething, she sometimes doesn't even want to suck on the pacifier part and she can suck on the limbs of the cat. I just let her do what she wants to do. I am about to fight that little girl. She is a diva. I ain't got time. <laughs> so sometimes she'll take it out of her mouth and start sucking on another part of the cat just because it's more comfortable for her or whatever. But I cannot live without my Wubbinubs. And let me tell you why. Wubbinubs or a soother pacifier in general because I do also use regular soothers. But she likes this one. The reason I can't live without it is because a lot of the time Salem refuses me but she'll accept the Wubbinub. And so there's times where she's really tired and she's feeling lazy, I guess, so she doesn't want to have to work so hard to get food, so she'd rather just suck on her soother so that she can fall asleep. This thing works like a charm. I think some moms are against pacifiers, but I think you just need to have your pacifier controlled. You don't want the pacifier to ruin the teeth, but a pacifier is a lot better and safer than sucking on the thumb. It really affects the teeth. And also the skin on the back of the thumb stinks, number one. I remember my little cousin, oh my gosh, she used to suck her thumb and it was like scabby and peely and it smelled like raw skin, like it was nasty. Obviously I can't breastfeed Salem while we're driving. If she wakes up out of her sleep and she wants to eat or she just wants some comfort, you can pop this sucker in her mouth and she will enjoy the car ride and that's basically it. The next item on my list is the play mat, play pen, girl. I don't know what this thing is, but I love it so much. Um, when Salem does tummy time or she's on her back, she plays inside of this little ball pit that we have. And I got it at Toys R Us or Babies R Us. I don't remember... I wasn't there when Shooter bought it. I have no idea how much it costs, but I know from being in Babies R Us that these are not cheap. They are quite expensive, like I've seen them for $100, but it's definitely an essential tool. When I'm cooking or something, or when I can't be 
when Salem can't be in my hand at the time and I just need to put her down for a little bit and she needs to keep herself entertained. The little play mat has been so helpful. She loves it. She plays in there all the time. She screams a lot in there and she picks up the balls and she looks at the balls and the colors and it's really fun to watch her inside of the ball pit. Like she gets to figure out how to use her hands and stuff and so I'm here for this item in particular just because it's also teaching her stuff. She's learning from being inside of it. She spends quite a bit of time in that ball pit, whether it's on her tummy or on her back. Yeah, so that is the third item on my list of necessities, okay? The next item on the list, which I think everybody needs to get one of these. I've not met a mom that has told me that they didn't like their baby Bjorn. You need a baby Bjorn because a lot of the times baby just wants to be against you or poppy so that's what you need to do. Salem has started to gather her own routine. When her dad goes to work and comes home or is on his way home she, there's a period where Salem's freaking out I guess because she knows what time of day it is or she feels what time of day it is and she knows her dad's coming home soon and she knows that when her dad comes home after work he plays Fortnite <laughs> or video games and so she likes to be in the B baby Bjorn with her dad while he's playing his video game and she's so calm she's so perfect when she's inside of it and so that's their bonding time because the rest of the time she's with me so when he's playing his video game with her she just watches him until she falls asleep and like is to the point now where he doesn't even want to play the video game, but he's just playing it to keep her entertained. I think that's super cool. So the Baby Bjorn is super necessary, and for me, using the Baby Bjorn, I use it when I'm cooking, I use it when I am just doing stuff around the house that Salem's not gonna be in the way. If I, it's not cleaning and stuff, just stuff around the house, girl, I don't know what the hell. But like, I'll strap her to my chest, and that way I can walk around with her and she likes to face forward in it so she can see what's going on. She doesn't like to face my chest anymore. The baby Bjorn is definitely a big help because Salem is one of those babies that doesn't like to be put down. She loves Han Han and she doesn't want to just chill on the couch sometimes. Sometimes she just wants to be up and walking around and she's heavy as hell. Okay, heavy, okay. She a heavy hitter, okay. She has to be strapped on. I can't, my arms be getting tired. They be turning into jello and shit. I can't with Salem. Salem is a diva, okay? Yeah, that is the fourth item on my list of necessities. The fifth product on my list of must-haves for babies is this product right here done save my child's life. Burt's Bees, shout out to you. Because after Liv Clean didn't ruin my baby's legs, I had to find something else. And so when I was on the forums, someone had commented about Burt's Bees Baby. It's 98.9% .9 natural, no parabens, phthalates, petroleum, or SLS. It's a nourishing lotion. You get six ounces of lotion. It's safe, effective, and natural, pediatrician tested and you just apply generously to the body as needed. All the ingredients are on the back of this, but when Salem's skin needed to be restored after it was burning off, <laughs> this is the product that restored it. At first I was using pure organic coconut oil and it helped to make her skin feel a little bit better, but it wasn't getting it to that point of super smoothness. It still felt a little rough even with the coconut oil, and so I was like, okay, I need something else. And this did the trick. I swear by this lotion for my baby. I ain't gonna tell you what to put on your baby because I ain't trying to have nobody come back here and say, um, my baby got a rash, bitch. <laughs> that is not my problem. This worked for Salem's little legs and her skin feels so smooth now. So I'm really happy about the Birds Bees baby products. I haven't used any other products other than this. I'm probably going to try other Birds products right, um, soon, but the other Live Clean products that I have for Salem don't irritate her skin, so I, it was just the lotion. I still was using the eczema shampoo on her head and the bubble bath in the bath. It's very gentle and mild, so it doesn't bother her too much but when it's when I, the bottles finished because I actually just finished the body wash I only have the shampoo now I'm not going to be replacing with the live clean just because I kind of like to use one brand at a time we'll be sticking with 
either Burt's Bees or back to Johnson & Johnson because shit that's what we grew up on bitch like <laughs> the only thing I don't use is baby powder but there was a lady that sued Johnson & Johnson because of she got cancer and she was able to chalk it up to the baby powder so I mean I ain't got time for the talk and uh, now I ain't got time bitch this lotion is the bee's knees pun definitely intended okay <laughs> I love this lotion so much. I love how it smells too. It smells like, I don't know. I like the, the way the Burt's Bees product smells. It has like a, I don't even know what scent that is, but it's very, it's fragrance free. So it smells very natural, you know? So I like that smell. And to me, fragrance free stuff always has a scent, but that that's none of my business. As long as it's not irritating little say say, I'm Gucci. So the next product on my list is not conventional. This is probably not something a lot of moms use, and if it is, then hey. But I recently started using this because I'm finding that Miss Salem likes to just be screaming down the damn place at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I ain't got the time, honey, because bitch is tired. Like, I, I need to go to bed, okay? I need to sleep. 3.30 is usually her last feeding. So from 3.30 to like 12, she'll be asleep, sometimes 1.30. I'm trying to change her schedule because I want her last feeding to be a little earlier so we can get up earlier and enjoy the day. I purchased this Sweet Dreams pillow spray and it's just a little bit of aromatherapy. It was $6.99 at HomeSense. Y'all know I love HomeSense, okay? I went there knowing I would be able to find this. So I was like, I know I'm about to get me some pillow spray at HomeSense. You basically, this one has lavender, sandalwood, and jasmine. You get 100 milliliters or 3.38 flow ounces. And it was only $6.99. It's for external use only. Avoid contact with eyes. And you're supposed to keep it out of reach of children because they might spray it in their mouth, you know? And so you basically just spray the mist around your bed or your linens, around your room. And this says you can even spray it on your body. And so I spray it on my personal pillow, not on Salem stuff in the bed because obviously I don't know if she's going to have a reaction or anything like that. And she's a baby, so she's getting gentle. But I need her to smell the aroma. And it helps her to fall asleep. Literally every time I spray this, she gets ready to eat to go to bed and I said yes God because I need to sleep like the other thing too is that it's working for me as well I feel like when I use this I get a nice I get a deeper sleep and I feel a lot more refreshed in the morning so this is helping me I bought two different pillow mists the other one is a different scent and it's a different brand as well but it definitely calms you down and it helps you to sleep like a baby and she's sleeping like a baby. And so I actually find that when I use this, she sleeps even longer than when I don't use it, which is great because that means that I get more sleep because I need my sleep. And so pillow mist, like I said, is not conventional. It's not for everybody, but it's helping Salem to get into a routine, a habit, and it's also helping her to sleep longer. As the babies get older, they learn to sleep longer anyway and I think she's coming to that age now where she should be sleeping throughout the night so we're loving it this next product is an app I spoke about this app I think the first pregnancy update video I did this is the app that has been with me since Salem came home from the hospital and I swear by this app when I first talked about this app, I spoke about the womb sound that it is because it's a white noise app. The app is called Deep Sleep. And so now, the noise that I use to go to bed is this one. Because if you remember, in one of the updates, I said Salem loves the sound of running water. And so we would go into the bathroom and turn the water on, but like, who is wasting all that water for Salem to go to bed? And every time we turned the water on, she would get really quiet. And so I was like, I need a sound that sounds like some water. And so I was trying all these sounds and none of them were working. And then I came across the one that's literally just called white noise. And it sounded the closest to the, the running water in the bathroom. And it works like a charm. This app 
put Salem to sleep, honey. Plus the little pillow mist shit. Girl, my baby asleep. <laughs> so I live by this app. I swear by this app. When I first got the app, I was using the sound from the womb. So it was literally like a heartbeat plus the sound that you hear when you go to get your ultrasound done. And so now I just use the white noise. And it works like a charm every time. So I will continue to swear by this app. Deep sleep, if you want to sponsor me, hi, how are you? <laughs> but yeah, definitely a necessity. And you know, every baby's different, so the stuff that's working for Salem might not work for everybody's baby, but I still want to share this information just because it's worth a try. When you are a first time mom, there's so much learning to do, and like every day you learn something new, and every day you get to see your baby develop more and it's honestly so rewarding and it makes you feel good too like when you get to see the milestones that your baby's making and it's matching up with the milestones on Google <laughs> you're really excited about that and so the last product that I want to show you guys is the good trusty old mama Roo. the four moms brand has a bunch of different products and I personally love the Mama Roo. From the minute I saw it at the store, I was like, I gotta have that rocker. That's the one for me. That's the one for baby. And so it has lots of different settings that you can use. You can plug your phone in and play music. It's connected to Bluetooth. So you can control it from your phone and change the motion that it's rocking. Like say you're in the kitchen and your baby's in the living room and you wanna change the motion because say baby starts fussing and doesn't like that motion anymore, she wants to use kangaroo instead of car ride, then you can change it from your phone if you're busy. You can also change the sound that comes out of it from your phone as well because there's like a heartbeat, there's rain falling from the sky. Um, there's lots of different sounds that you can use. And I find that Salem has her days with the Mamaru, but it has definitely saved me a lot of times. A lot of times I can just put her in it, turn it on, and it just rocks her slowly or fast, depending, and um, calms her down and keeps her busy. Because when I first was putting her in there and she wasn't mentally developed, um, she would just kind of sit in there and fall asleep. But now that she's of age and she's a lot taller and longer, she can play with the little spinner above her head, the little mobile. She actually hates the balls being inside of the mobile now, so she always pops the balls out and she just plays with it without the balls in there. It's totally weird. I don't know why she does that, but she literally will freak out if the balls are in there. So I always put the balls in super light. I don't push them in all the way so that she can pop them out herself and then she just can play with it however she wants to play with it. I told you the girl is a diva. She likes what she likes when she likes it, how she likes it. And you can't tell her anything about it. But yes, I really do personally love the Mamaru. The only thing is, it is more expensive than other rockers or um, chairs for the baby. You can get chairs that do the same thing for less, but I just love the Mamaru and that's why we got it. With the Mamaru, there's been plenty of nights I've contemplated literally bringing it upstairs and having her just sit and rock in there to sleep. But I've never done it because it's big and like I'm not trying to bring it up the damn stairs like it stays in the living room so she can hang out with us. <laughs> but trust me, I have contemplated it because if there's anything that can put that child to sleep, it is the Mama Roo, you know, and it's just a really great product to have. When you get products that are a little bit more expensive, you want them to go to use. And so I'm glad that we're able to use the chair. What I have to touch on is how easy it is to clean. It's so easy to clean when you unzip. Hi, mamas. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, that's a nice smile. Oh my gosh. Hi. When you unzip the Mamaru, uh, cause Salem has actually blown up on the damn Mamaru more than once, and it was like so freaking fluorescent green. Like the shit was crazy. So I had to take it off, rinse it, and then throw it in the washing machine, and it didn't stain the Mamaru. It's made out of a great material that doesn't stain for whatever reason, so it's easy to unzip, throw in the wash, and put it back on, and then she can swing in her chair again. But that is the last product that I just cannot live without, and I think that's it. What's up? It's a baby Bjorn. I talked about the baby Bjorn. The baby Bjorn is so necessary. <laughs>
So why are you up here? What's up? What's going on? You just came to check on she's mom. Fussing. She don't look like she's fussing. She was downstairs. She was little little Jew girl. Thing and she's Listen here, Julia Roberts. Okay, Salem. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. Okay, so yeah, that is the final product on my list of must-haves. If you're a new mom, congratulations. If you're almost a new mom, congratulations. I pray that your pregnancy goes smoothly, girl. Like a tornado, girl. And, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. I love you all, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. I will see you for my Taurus birthday chart, girl. It's a mess.